So I've just reached the, the Sagrada Familia, i.e. the cathedral, and uh, a lot of people have been talking to me about this, and I can now see why. Alright guys, here in Sitges, just going to uh, try and find my way into Barcelona now in a minute, but just got to show you this quickly. That was my hotel. Surfers. Right, off to Barcelona. Back of the bus, on the naughty boys. Right, we're in Barcelona, just gotta try and work out which, which bus stop to get off at now. Got trusty Google Maps, and uh, that's all I should need. Arrived in Barcelona, my kind of place. Oh yeah. It's a shame I don't have time to do the old red top bus. I've been told it's very uh, open top bus. Sorry, it's apparently it's very good. Not here really for long enough to sort that out. So I'm gonna have to try and find find things myself. I'm going to head over to the cathedral now. They'll have a bike here. These headphones are the most amazing travelling headphones ever. Literally can't hear anything around this course. They're both quite Comfort 30 guys, if you're interested. Oh, I'll get my new watch. Okay, so I didn't quite realise how far it was from that main square to the cathedral. Whew. Taxi back, I think. So I've just reached the uh, Sagrada Familia, i.e. the cathedral. And uh, a lot of people have been talking to me about this. And I can now see why. change my mind I'm gonna go and try and find out how much these buses are if I've got time to do one. This is a lot of pigeons. I decided to go for it. Alright let's try and work out this. That was by Gaudi. done by donations so Gaudi died in 1920 something and they've continued to develop it with donations from people and ticket sales and stuff like that Whoa, check out that dude. Another football, ice rink, and handball. 
think it's safe to say they like sport. Pretty crazy how the logo at the top of this building goes round. Spain's biggest bank. I knew it, they have more motorcycles than any other European city. Just, just this. Good tour, thoroughly recommend that. So this place now is called La Ram, which is very famous apparently in Barcelona. Lots going on here through the night as well apparently. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Plants in mugs. Hey, this looks pretty cool. Take down here. This is one hell of a market. I wish I had this in Exeter. This could easily be the most impressive market I've ever seen. Oh my god, that is actually amazing. It's coconut and mint. I'm quite intrigued by what the Jambon experience is. That really is a ham experience. Look at these, like takeaway ham things. Oh my god, there's a whole museum here. It's all about tapas here. That's Barcelona done. I feel like I've quite achieved quite a lot today. It's good. Definitely recommend coming here. So my Barcelona experience is over now, uh, back in the airport, just about to leave. I have to say, it's interesting because I think my expectations of Barcelona were set higher than maybe when I first got there, or I thought they were going to be um, a bit prettier maybe. But actually, as I spent the day there, it became obvious that it was a pretty amazing city. Um, so yeah, very thoroughly recommend it. It is a shame when the first thing you say or get told when you mention where you're going is that watch out for pickpockets by pretty much everybody. Um, but, you know, that's what it is. So, uh, yeah, Barcelona over and uh, I'll see you guys next time.